So I wanted to go over, so this is kind of the framework I use to modify behavior and then to get accurate assessments and accurate uh, information, okay? So there's, what we're trying to do is very important to like be very clear on everything we're doing. So, okay, what we're trying to do is close a gap um, between where you are and where you want to be, right? So there's two pieces to that puzzle. One of is is the intention intervention gap, okay? Your intention intervention gap is basically uh, what you know you should be doing and what you are actually doing on a consistent basis, okay? So for example, you might somebody might say, oh, you know, I, I, I should be working out every day or whatever i should be exercising more regularly and they're actually not doing that or you know i should be tracking my food every day and and eating better right even though we might not know what that means what does it mean to eat better we have to clarify that so we clarify that to be like eat in a way that allows me to look the way that i want right because that's the gap i'm trying to close so that's one the second one is the uh, spoused values versus your actual values basically it's what you say is important and what your behaviors show that you actually think is important so you know somebody might say like you know being nice to people is very important like they might say that and then you know or they might you know people post on on instagram or facebook they're like you know kindness is this blah 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 but then they're super rude to you know let's say their spouse or they're rude to a waiter or somebody like that or a random person so it's like there's a difference between the values that you practice and the values that you say are important right we want to close those gaps so the the way that all of this works is that when we're trying to do something in this case being very specific we're trying to lose body fat when i'm trying to lo lose body fat Okay, there's a bunch of different components that are going to come into play. The real, and so all of that is the system. And I want my system to be as reliable as possible so I can close the gap between where I am and where I want to be. Okay, the reliability of the system is a product of the reliability of the different components. Okay. So a great example here, okay, we'll go over this because this may not make sense, but product basically means multiplication, right? So if I have two components in a system and they're both 90% reliable, system reliability is 81%. Let's say, you know, the uh, there's a 90% reliability that there's a, that's a, there's a good light bulb in the socket and there's a 90% reliability that the bill was paid, you have a 81% system reliability or chance that when you flip the switch, the light will turn on. Um, each component that is added, right? Let's say, you know, was it wired correctly? There's a 90% chance. Is the light bulb fresh? There's a 90% chance. And was the bill paid? There's a 90% chance. So if you flip the switch, there's a 72% chance that the light will turn on. Now, technology is very reliable. Like I put 0.9 here, right? Plans are very reliable. If you follow a plan, it will work, right? Which is why people can do dumb diets or like, you know, crazy stuff and, and lose weight because the, the things will work, right? So technology is almost, you know, 99.999% reliable. So what's the, di what's the biggest component? And that's human behavior, which is not reliable, right? Um, and so, you know, you have, let's say, we're just making this up. Let's say, you know, the tech is 90% reliable and your be a human behavior is 60% reliable system reliability is a product of those two things so that means 54 percent chance that you'll get what you want on the other end right now this is where we kind of separate into like okay so how do we get it closer so like what i want is reliability right so i want a hundred percent chance 
or reliability that I lose all the fat that I want in an enjoyable way. So if we improve the tech or the plan, right? And let's use fat loss for this. Let's say you find a plan that's 90% reliable and then you bump it up or you find another plan that's 99% reliable, right? But your behavior side of things is, you know, let's say you're, there's a 60% chance that you'll follow it, like, you know, six out of 10 chances that you'll do the workout and exactly as it's written. So your system reliability is 0.59, right? 59% chance that you'll get the result that you want. Now, instead of looking for the perfect plan or adding more components, if we were to increase the human behavior side and, you know, show like it, uh, bump this up the same amount, right? By, by basically a 10th um, to 0.7 from 0.6, even if the plan is not perfect, we go from 0 0.9, uh, we go from 0.54 to 0.63, right? So you get more reliability even with the same improvement just on the behavior side versus the tech side. So the reason I'm saying this is kind of we're laying the foundation here is like behavior is the most important part to focus on before you start worrying about what's the plan or any like changes to the plan until you cannot get an accurate gauge of what to do until you bump this up as high as possible okay so you know a plans plans can be like you've seen every kind of plan work you've seen other people do it it can be from 90 to 90 percent reliable human behavior okay can be four to 50% reliable in any given situation. And, you know, people kind of, you can kind of see this in that, how many people actually stick with a, a fitness program or a nutrition program, right? Most people don't like, oh, you're supposed to track your calories every day. Okay, well, my, you know, I got into something or emotional thing and blah, blah, blah. So four out of the seven days of the week, I didn't actually track because I was too emotional, right? So I, the, the plan is almost irrelevant because the system reliability is most heavily based off of this, right? So this is, again, if you go back to the top part, right, system reliability, the least reliable component is the most important one to change and it gives us the highest leverage right so like if we were to like just taking the same example if we were to go from 0.6 percent or 0.6 uh 60 percent reliability to 80 percent reliability you know 0.9 times 0.8 now you go to 72 percent and you have the same plan, same everything, right? So there's a couple of keys here, right? Number one, the big thing, actually, this should be like huge, but the plan is to keep the main thing, the main, ten main thing, okay? So removing, so there's a couple of keys here with, with looking at fat loss with this kind of a lens, okay? Remove as much tech and complexity and components as possible. We're going to go down to the bare bones, okay? What actually causes fat loss? We'll, move, we'll modify behavior first and try to get our, our, that component reliability up as high as possible and the plan last, okay? So here's the thing. This is kind of like... This is, you know, stuff that I've learned from some very smart people. Uh, I have, uh, you know, some very intelligent people in my corner. Um, one of them is a PhD who got his PhD when he was like 23 years old in organic, in, uh, in um, uh, biology or uh, metabolic uh, che uh, chemistry. Um, there's other guys, there's another guy who has built, 
think he's built like six or seven multi-million dollar businesses, sold them. Um, and this is the lens that they think with, which helps us increase the reliability of the system, right? What does that mean for us? It just means it makes it easier for us to, it, it makes it more uh, easier for us to modify a behavior so that we actually get what we want and close that gap, right? So first, the, the baseline here is doing enough, okay? What that means is, like, let's say for example, when we're gonna start out on, on, on our food, right? That's gonna be the highest, most important piece of the puzzle when it comes to losing the amount of fat on your body. What I will need for that is you to track your calories every single day and track your weight every single day. If you cannot do that, we go nowhere. We do nothing else, okay? Most people, they don't, they don't think about what is the most, what is the baseline here? They go straight to this, okay? That might look like, oh, what is meal timing? What about uh, when should I, you know, should I take supplements or, you know, should I be fasting? Should I be, you know, um, doing uh, detox? Like all kinds of complicated stuff without being focused on doing enough, okay? This is the base. So for us, that would be, we're gonna track our calories every day, and until we get that piece uh, as close to 100% reliable as possible, we don't add any other component. Because if you go back here, you know, if, I, if my uh, calorie tracking and weight tracking is 0.3, right? Let's just say 30% of the time I track my calories and food and weight. M me adding a bunch of components to this, just even if they're a hundred percent reliable, you add that 0.3 in there, your system reliability is still going to be 30%, right? So instead I want to first dial in, I track my food every day. I make sure I eat food that's easily trackable and I track my weight every day. Boom, I get that done. Now I start to add some balance. What does balance look like? In this case, it might mean I'm gonna tell you, okay, now I need this much protein, okay? Um, and until you start to, uh, let's say the next, once you dial this in, and now we're eating you know, 150 grams of protein, until we get that dialed in, and we have a 100% system reliability on that, right? Meaning we do it every day, no matter what, we don't add any other stuff. Okay. When we do, then we might say, you know, I'm going to, I, I might start playing around with the structure. Like, okay, I'm going to eat exactly at 10 AM every day, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do like, none of that actually matters until you've gotten this piece. Novelty is new stuff. Like that means I'm not going to start trying uh, I'm not going to be like, oh, I want to start eating out now. Well, that's not your, your, you don't have any system reliability of tracking or hitting protein. You're adding a component to this. So you, let's say this is 0.3% and you add this now and, and, you know, being, uh, let's say accuracy of tracking going out is 60%, 70%, you're adding another component with a low reliability. Guess what? Now you just decrease the entire system reliability and now we are going to not close the gap. We're actually gonna move further away. Finally, this stuff, right? Now, when your behavior is reliable, that's when we change the plan slightly, okay? When we track for seven days in a row, that's when we start figuring out how much protein we're gonna hit and now start doing that. Once we start doing that, then we move to this, okay? Once we get these guys down, then we might say, okay, like, let's try what happens when we eat out, all right? Let's try what happens if you wanna eat ice cream, whatever, okay? You cannot skip levels. You have to be consistent in your behavior at a lower level before you add stuff on top, right? So in a business setting, this might look like somebody might say, oh, you know, you can build this, you know, cool website and you could do this and that and 
you know, there's this new software, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Until you show up and per, like, what would be the enough part of, of a business, right? It might be, am I just writing every single day if that's a, a part of my job? If I, am I just, uh, am I making enough phone calls every day if I'm in sales, right? Um, until I get this, I don't do any of this because I'm just making the entire system more reliable. Now you can look at this, if you can like start to like internalize this, you'll see this in every single like interaction, behavior, plan that people try in all areas, right? Like usually we just don't know, realize it, but this is what's happening in the background. People are adding components and complexity to things that are already, you know, low reliability and then they wonder why there's so much failure, right? So um, you can't say this plan doesn't work. You can't say, you know, a particular way of eating doesn't work until you have gone through each level with enough consistency to get, you know, to be able to make that decision, right? A lot of times people will start a new plan and then they don't consider the fact that they don't even work out six day, five days a week. They don't even work, eat and track their food every single day. They're like, oh, well, on the weekends, I just kind of do whatever. And then they say the plan doesn't work. Well, the, the lowest component of the system was actually your human behavior, which was 60%. That's the piece we got to bump up if we want to be able to actually evaluate the entire plan, right? Or a particular diet or a particular program, okay? Let me know if you have questions on this. Let me know if this makes sense. Um, send me questions because then we can clarify and continue to refine our understanding because, you know, these, these frameworks of thinking don't matter if they don't make sense and you can't really see your like what you're doing and what you've been doing in this lens.